Taylor is here again with a new book. This one I'm pretty excited for because I haven't read it yet, but I know it's pretty popular amongst most of my older students. It first came out in 2008. This is the book one of the Amulet series. It is a graphic novel uh, written by a artist and uh, author, Kazu Kibuishi. And I took a chance to look up how you pronounce his name because he is from Tokyo, Japan. He has also written quite a few other word or quite a few other graphic novels. And this graphic novel has a lot of pictures in it. I'm going to be sharing it on an overhead camera. Some of the pictures don't have words and instead of describing them to you, I'm going to let you have a chance to look at them and think about what you feel is going on or interpret what you think is going to happen uh, because I don't want my ideas and thoughts to influence yours. I'd like you to get a chance to explore it a bit yourself. So we are going to get started with part one and uh, I'm going to read about 50 pages. I'll make sure to not stop at a huge cliffhanger or maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't read the book. So we are going to get ourselves started. This is Amulet, the Stone Keeper, book one by Kazu Kibuishi. So Amulet by Kazu Kibuishi. It's a brand new book. Prologue. We're supposed to pick up Navin at eight o'clock. We're late. We have plenty of time, at least a half hour. 15 minutes is not a half hour. I think dad just lives in an alternate universe. Time moves slower here. It certainly would explain a few things. I'm sure Navin won't mind playing video games for a few minutes longer, honey. Hey dad. I get to play a game when we get there, right? Mm-hmm. Sit back down, Emily. Okay, cool. Dad, it's already, David, it's already late. By the time we get back home, it'll be past 11. You're right, you're right. Hear that, Emily? We'll have to postpone our game till next time. Aw, David. I see it. I see it. The guy's not paying attention to his high beams. I can't believe this. Honk! David, look out! Hold on! Crack! What? Crunk! They're upside down. Against a tree. On a cliff. Karen, are you okay? My nose is hurt. Emily, Emily, what about Emily? Emily? I'm fine, Dad. Okay, I want you to climb out of there and, and climb out the front. That, that's it. Just keep moving. Get away from the car, Emily. Karen, now you. Come on, Mom. Arrgh. Dad, give me your hand. Emily, I, I can't. My legs are stuck under the dashboard. Crack. Dad, just give me your hand, please. Emily, you'll, you'll need help. Mom, Mom, Dad's stuck. David, you have to get out of there right now. Karen, my legs are stuck. We need someone to pry me out of here. Get help. David, we don't have time. The car is tipping. Just give me your hand. Ugh, I can't move. I can't do it, Karen. You're going to have to try. Huh. No! Karen, let go. David, 
You need to look after Emily. Let go. Mom! Dad! Get out! Book one, The Stonekeeper. Two years later. <sighs> if you keep that up, your face will stay that way. I'm trying to cheer up M. She's making the mopey face again. Hey, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him, Mom. I'm doing fine. Anyway, it's just so long as you both find some way to be entertained out here and stay out of trouble. I don't care what you do with your faces. Anyway, I think that you guys will like this town. They have a miniature golf. The only catch is that this house will require a lot of work to make it comfortable. Why did we leave our other place? Everything there was brand new. Unfortunately... New things cost a lot. Since your father passed away, I haven't been able to afford that house. At least out here, we won't be under as much financial strain. This house has been in the family for years. Mom, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There are plenty of places out in the country that are out in the middle of nowhere. None of which are quite as populous as Norlin, but it's a fair sizable city. Now entering Norlin, population 28,000 people. You see, it's not that different than anywhere else. Well, we are here. Smell that fresh air? Isn't it great? Let's see if these keys still work. Oh my goodness. This house is going to require a lot of love. Everyone stay close. Watch your step. There's no way we can sleep under these conditions. <sighs> we'll have to attack it. You ready? Ready when you are, Mom. Bring it on! Charge! Huh? Oh, what? Silas Sharnon. Hmm. Emily! Emily? Whoa! Hey mom, come see what M found. Oh wow, <laughs> this is my grandpa Silas's library. So this is great grandpa? Yep. Is he still alive? That's a good question. No one really knows what happened to him when he disappeared. Disappeared? After your great-grandmother Isabel passed away, Silas locked himself in this house and was never seen again. This is why this, the locals think that this place is haunted. Is it? Of course not. Navin, get down from there. Come on, Mom, I'll be all right. There's nothing up here but old junk. There are so many blueprints. Was he an architect? No. Silas was a puzzle maker. I know he was proud of that fact. 
although I always thought his puzzles looked more like toys or machines. Cardbot. Wow. I'm glad you're taking an interest in Silas's work. I'll make, I'm sure it'll come in handy for a school report. Do I have to go to school? I can learn everything I need to on my own. I know that having to go to a new school again, but there's no way around it. I'm sure you will have no, no problem making new friends. It's not that, Mom. It's just that I don't see the use of learning algebra when I know I'll never use it in the real world. And when did you get to know so much about the real world? It's true, isn't it? Well, that's beside the point. You said great grandpa didn't go to school, right? And look at all the cool stuff he did. Emily, my grandfather was eccentric. He's not someone you should look up to. Why not? Just trust me, Emily. It's better to lead a normal life like everyone else. Now let's go downstairs and finish cleaning. We have a lot of work to do before it gets dark. wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because it's creepy? Oh, grow up. Shink. Ow. See, I told you not to touch it. Don't worry about it. It's just a tiny nick. <laughs> Let's go back bef outside before we get in trouble. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Em. We should leave it alone and tell Mom about it. She'll just tell us to put it back. Here, help me put it on. I'm not good at tying knots. It's easy. Just make two pretzels. Two pretzels. Did you tie it? Um, I think so. It's beautiful. Don't tell Mom, okay? Well, I, I want one too. I'll let you wear it when I'm done with it. Come on, let's go help mom. How come I never get anything first? Hmm? Em, wait up. The power should be back on in a couple of days. Until then, It'll be like we're camping out. What's wrong, Emily? Why did we move out here? Honestly. I thought you guys would like all this nature. You always loved summer camp. Yeah, but we only do that for a month out of the year. Not like forever. Look. I just wanted for us to start new life and leave the old one behind. I wanted to start fresh. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But we didn't have to come all the way out here to do that. It's not something I would have done. Go. Why do you say things like that, Emily? But it's the truth. Look, I just, I don't. Mom? Mom, I'm sorry. I miss your father as much as you do. I wish he was here. I wish I could talk to him. But more than that, I wish I knew what to do. I wish I wasn't alone. But you're not... You're not. Come here. Both of you. I love you both so much. I don't know what I would do if I lost you too. You won't. How you doing, Emily? You warm? I'm good. Thanks, Mom. 
We'll have another not long day of cleaning tomorrow, so get some rest. Look, if things don't work out here, we can go back to the city. Don't worry about it, Mom. I think I just need time to uh, adjust. Listen carefully. Your family is in danger. Stay with them. Keep them safe. Safe? From what? Wait! Wait! Kerthump! Kerthump! Hear that? It's coming from downstairs. Mom, what's that? Kerthump! I don't know, Navin. You stay, you two stay here while it while I go see what it what it is. We'll go with you. Stay close. Kathump. Hello. It's probably just the pipes, or maybe a raccoon. Raccoon. Sounds like it's coming from the basement. Thump. I want both of you to stay here where it's safe. If it's really an animal, I don't want you getting near it. It may bite. I want to go with you. No, you stay here. Lock this door if I say so, okay? Mom, do as I say. I'll be back quickly, I promise. Ah, mom, what's going on? Mom, just stay there, Emily. Get back. Huff, huff, huff. I said, I said, get. Ah! Mom, wait up, Em. Mom, kick. There's no one here. Saw something go through that door. Click, click. Mom? 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 Whoosh. It looks like there's only one way down. Take my hand and don't let go. Em? What's happening? What's happening? What? Did you see that? Em? Emily. Emily. Emily, go get help. Don't get near it. Nevin. Nevin, run. Ah! No! Let my brother go. Huh! Emily, run! Huh! Let go! Scream! 
クスクスカンフォンスクリーミーアンナベンガッIt's a dead end. The umbrella mushrooms. Pull them out by the roots and we'll use them as sails. Sails? What are you doing? Here, take this. Jump, Navin. Jump! You okay? Yeah. Hey, M.、Um, if you lean it, you can steer it.、Uh, try to keep it steady. Boom. Huh? Back, 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 back. M.、Um, something's eating my parachute. Just hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold tight. Back, 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 back. Kick. Squawk. Squawk! Kick, kick, kick. I'll come back around, Navin. Peck, 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 peck. Here we are. It's about one minute that comeback will make its way through the cat. Oh, cone beak. In about one minute, that cone beak will make its way through the cap. When that happens, Navin will fall to his death. What can I do? Use the amulet. Hooey! Peck, 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 peck. You've done it already. You can do it again. No fear. No more fear. Just focus. Project that energy. Vring! Squawk! Squawk! How, how did you do that? I'm not entirely sure. 
M? Does this mean you're a wizard? No. Wait, I mean a witch. You're a witch. Stop it, Navin. I'm not a witch. But that was so magical. Now remember to use this power wisely. Being a stonekeeper is a responsibility you mustn't take lightly. A stonekeeper? What do we do about mom? Trickle, 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 trickle. The amulet said to go upstream and follow the water to its source. We better do as it says. How do we know that we can trust it? That voice sounded pretty shifty. That shifty voice saved your life. And it's not like we've got a lot of options, Navin. So unless you come up with a better plan, the amulet will be our guide. Munch. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Emily, don't let Navin out of your sight. Huh? Navin? Navin, get away from those things. They're harmless, Em. How do you know they're not diseased? Come on, get up. I can't have you getting sick or hurt now. That must be the house. We'll have to cross. Are you ready to swim? Navin? Somebody's coming. I'm going to stop right here on page 79. It seems like a pretty good place. I hope it's not too much of a clip hanger. That is 79 pages, and at the speed, I think I will do the remainder of the book in part two all at once. So this has been the first 79 pages of Amulet, book one, The Stonekeeper, a graphic novel by Kazu Kibuishi. <laughs>